morning, everybody. Aloha. Good morning, Governor. Uh, I'm with uh, a whole bunch of people. <laughs> uh, Superintendent, because we want to give you a comprehensive uh, uh, and detailed, uh, up to date, and uh, credible. Uh, set of uh, circumstances that we can uh, deal with, come to grips with. Uh, superintendents here, the Attorney General Doug Main from uh, Civil Defense and uh, um, uh, Emergency uh, Barbara Craig from our uh, uh, Human Resources and DL. Uh, General, uh, General Wong is here, Mike McCartney, HTA, Airports. Ford from Air Airports, and, and uh, Ted Sakai from the, the uh, prison system. First, uh, the most important thing to have clearly in mind is that every decision that's uh, being made by the, the emergency management team uh, and uh, civil defense and uh, all of our uh, colleagues across the state uh, is made on the basis of health and safety of our citizens. All decisions are made from that uh, point of view. Since the tsunami, back in 2011. We've been engaged in a comprehensive uh, and integrated emergency preparation, planning, and practice mode. Uh, we've, we've gone through various scenarios. Uh, everybody has participated. We are as fully prepared today as it's possible for us to be uh, institutionally. Uh, I, I've made it uh, uh, my personal responsibility as governor to see to it uh, that uh, all segments uh, all institutional segments, all responsible areas of government and, and business are working together precisely to be ready for a, a time like this. Uh, the, uh, whether it's the National Guard, whether it's the uh, Department of Education, whether it's the city and county of Honolulu, the other counties, we think we're, we're uh, uh, prepared today. The main thing for us to do then uh, is to stay focused, uh, to stay alert, um, uh, and to pay attention. Uh, you can rest assured that uh, all of us are prepared to give you the information in real time that you need to have in order to protect your families and to uh, see to it that our communities are able to do uh, uh, three things. Uh, response, uh, utilization of resources, and recovery. We're prepared for immediate response. Uh, we have our resources in place and we have a recovery plan. I spoke uh, uh, this morning at length with Craig Fugate of FEMA. I think you just heard from the FEMA spokesman, the Federal Emergency Management Agency, directly responsible to the White House. I work with FEMA as a member of, of the uh, Council of Governors, uh, 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 appointed by the President, so we have a, a, an excellent personal relationship going back to, to, to my time in Congress. But, uh, Mr. Fugate and his personnel uh, at FEMA are prepared to work with us uh, uh, across the board on the recovery and resources phase. So we're, that's going to be integrated and we're going to be ready for it. Um, uh, the Lieutenant Governor is on Maui to coordinate uh, with the response that will come after the Big Island. Uh, we've been in touch this morning uh, with the Big Island directly. Uh, everybody is prepared there. They have an excellent communications set up to go to all parts uh, of the Big Island. They have backup and redundancy there. So uh, whatever needs to be done, I want to assure everybody uh, on the Big Island, Maui and elsewhere, that whatever needs to be done, we're prepared and ready to do it uh, instantaneously. Response is going to be uh, immediate. Uh, we. Uh, uh, are working with uh, um, uh, the, the uh, industry, the tour, uh, travel and tourism industry, the hospitality industry. We have to remember while, we, while we're uh, responding to our, our population, of course, our local population across the, the state, that we have visitors here in the tens of thousands uh, of people uh, who are dependent on us to give them direction and, uh, and security uh, with regard to whatever weather conditions are prevailing. And uh, we've, we've been working very, very closely with the, the city and county. Uh, they will be prepared shortly after we meet here this morning uh, to give you the full de details with regard to what we may expect by way of a bus service and uh, uh, workers uh, being accommodated uh, 
um, health and safety questions for the principal visitor destination areas, including Waikiki. I won't go that into any detail uh, at this particular time. Uh, we'll leave that uh, for uh, uh, the city and county to uh, express to you uh, in, in real time and in, real, and, and in, and in uh, credible detail as to how that will, will work. But we think that we're going to be able to uh, pursue that so that business can be conducted, workers can be, will be safe, uh, and visitors will be safe. Um, so I'm very, uh, very confident about that. So the bottom line uh, for us at, at this point is, is that you've gotten the, the up-to-date weather forecast. Um, you've uh, heard from uh, uh, FEMA with regard to the institutional framework within which we're going to be operating in recovery. So what remains for, for me to say at this point is that I'm very, very confident in the terrific professional commitment and focus that's been made by the emergency uh, uh, management teams, by state civil defense, and I believe that the uh, preparation that we've made ever since the tsunami hit is more, uh, not only adequate, but uh, I think everybody's going to be very proud of what everybody's going to be able to accomplish.